football Saturday on this chilly, uh, rain departing, making way for phenomenally nice, seasonably cool Michigan and Michigan State football game where the sixth ranked and undefeated Wolverines and fighting Jim Harbaugh's head up to East Lansing to take down uh, the criminal gangster cartels henchmen. Uh, the MSU, Michigan State University in East Lansing with the ninth ranked Spartans and undefeated also at 7-0 and and in first place in the Big Ten East. And it's essentially an elimination game in East Lansing for Jim Harbaugh and the Fighting Wolverines as if they cannot knock down the criminal gangster cartel henchmen. Uh, their season's essentially over and I will continue my rant and reigning on Jim Harbaugh. But it's going to be a phenomenal game there today. I expect a Michigan victory. 34-31. to 31. Michigan wins with a field goal to take the lead with one minute to go in the ball game in the fourth quarter in Spartan Stadium uh, to take down the criminal gangster cartel henchman, Michigan State University. So that's going to be an exciting game to all my people in the great state of Michigan. Michigan, right, and my Spartans and Wolverines out there. It should be a phenomenal football game. But the reason you are all here huh, is not about the old foosball. And Jim Harbaugh, if you need some pregame advice for that game, just contact me down below. Get fucking JJ McCarthy in there when you want to use the little run uh, play action uh, RPO and let him go in there and make plays and stretch the field vertically, Jim. You will have to be smart and throw the foosball down the field, you know? We see some fucking offense today, Jim. But here's your coins as I digress. We're gonna get right on into this. You see that? We think we have that little head and shoulders going on there. And I think this is gonna break down you get that elongated right shoulder, right? And I think you gotta come down to that $53,169 target, right? I think this is a topping out reverse, a topping reversal pattern in the market, yes. If you wanna sidestep and fleece heist and shice, the fleece heisters and shysters and charlatans and snake oil salesmen in the market, right? Follow Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing and subscribe down below, right? what it's all about but this is a topping reversal pattern to uh, fleece heist and chase you and we're we've laid this out 69 steps ahead of the criminal gangsters uh in the market right yes also brown killer thousand subscriber right but you got left shoulder head right shoulder being elongated now and we diagnosed and sniffed and detected and overted and subverted the overters and subverters right in here and told you it was gonna go up and and then back down to here, and then it now bounced back up. And this is what I mean, it's just elongating it, it's extending it. I think as soon as you break this line, as this 200 day moving average comes up and flattens out, the 50 day starts to come down, and the 100 day starts to flatten out and come down, they're all gonna converge over in here. The price is gonna to get to there, and I believe it's gonna break down and come down to that underneath target, which would fulfill the first part of the topping pattern, right? And then you could get bought back up down from here, and get bought back up to this overhead now resistance, the former neckline. See that? And that's at about six, yeah, about $60,169, right? And that would be a vertical line all the way across the playing field. So that's what I think is going on in the short term. On a high end potential and a thin traded weekend, you could come retest this upper major resistance. Well, it has to be upper major resistance because it's only been right there for a higher price. But I believe this is the old high. So if you come up, I think you would get rejected by this and then come back down to that aforementioned 200-day moving average and neckline, right? So that's what's going on in the Bitcoin, the XRP. Duh. Got a falling channel, right? See that? Got a falling channel. And I think you're going to break back down in that falling channel and come down towards that underneath target. As you know, we're coming to 90, or we already did really fill the 92 cent target with one another shyster in the comments. He said it didn't get to 92 or 72 cents. Well, the initial drop down was up here 
And then we laid it out how it would bounce back. Get off that, huh? How it would bounce back. Let me pull out my pointer tool again. This guy's frustrating me. These shysters in the comments. That comment, the same nonsense, and then they delete their comment. And then when the price goes up again, they re-comment the same nonsense for different prices. But we initially laid this out for you when we were going to get that pump right there before the Michigan-Wisconsin game on a Saturday afternoon. The price peaked up in that wick right now. You zoom it in on your own camera, you shyster if you want to see it, right below that arrow, and then it was getting sold off. And as I was going to watch the football game, a night game, when me, Michigan, and the Fighting Jim Harbaugh took down Scott Frost and the criminal gangsters uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska, I said the price would pop to 125 and get rejected and come down here and then maybe get bought back up because that's a good buying spot where that arrow was, right? And then you come up here and get rejected by this upper resistance and this green ring. And you did, you came back down. And then we diagnosed and sniffed out and detected, scumbag, if you watch the videos from two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and last week, as we were in this descending triangle where you had your upper resistance on this blue line that's descending to right here and a horizontal support right there. And we diagnosed this was a descending triangle and when it would break down well, what are you waiting for what is this fucking guy doing what the fuck he wants to get hit oh now you're gonna fucking go are you kidding me fuck just like this shyster in the comment section and we and i said uh when it breaks down out of this descending triangle even right here this guy was commenting like a scumbag saying it was going way way up there in vincenzo said it was going to get it was going to come back down into this triangle and then break down and we had that as the targeted move and look where the price came exactly to the targeted move and then we said it can get bought back up and back test this upper resistance in this triangle and then if it can break that you can move up a little bit before you continue down and no matter what happens up in here this is going to continue down at least i believe it is and so far we've been calling a phenomenal game since the price was rising in that candle and we had a uh, thesis and a projection on where the price would go unlike that shyster in the comments that has no understanding where the market goes so he buys there he sells there he buys there he sells down there he buys there he sells way down there and now he just bought back again and because of his frustrations and who he's following and the hustlers and shysters that he's listening to have driven him to bankruptcy in the market, right? So let's not be that guy. Let's continue following the pattern in the chart and not overreact to any pump or any dump and continue to follow the technicals and see what the chart says and play our plays accordingly. Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing on this foosball Saturday as the Fighting Jim Harbaugh's and Michigan Wolverines go up to East Lansing to take down the criminal gangster henchman, Michigan State University, in uh, a top 10 showdown and a two undefeated teams with a combined 14-0 record and 8-0 in the Big Ten, right? It's going to be a phenomenal game. We'll keep you updated as the day goes on. It'll either be a happy updates in the afternoon or very frustrated and angry and not really wanting to talk about coins update later on. So it'll be exciting to see how this all shakes out. Peace and love. Peace and love.